John Milton, a British poet from the 17th century, wrote his poetry based on his Protestant views. In every piece of poetry he wrote, John Milton's Protestant views were evident in his pieces, even if it wasn't directly. John Milton was born on Bread Street in London in 1608. John Milton grew up in a Protestant family. His father changed from a Catholic to a Protestant and was disowned by his father. With the little money that John's father made, he was still able to be educated and well-rounded in everything he did. John Milton had a great passion for reading and learning. He would stay up late at night to study. He became fluent in many languages such as Latin, English, Spanish, French, Greek, and many more. Through his desire to learn as much as possible, John Milton's father sent him to school at Cambridge University. This is where he pursued to become a clergyman following his father's footsteps. After seeing the corruptness in the church, John Milton decided to become a poet. His desires of books led him to become a poet who, in his writing, would influence others. He wrote of how the church should be and how it should be cleansed of this impurities. He wanted the church to realize what it was doing. John Milton published one of his first poems, known as On Shakespeare, while still at Cambridge University. He wrote this piece in memory of Shakespeare. Some people say that John Milton wrote the poem in iambic pentameter as a salute towards Shakespeare. It is evident that John Milton's poetry was influenced by events during his life. He wrote the poem listed as in honor of a dear friend, Edward King, who drowned on his sinking ship. In 1640, the English Civil War started. Here, Milton started writing his prose, such as Of Reformation and The Reason for Church Government. He promoted his political beliefs through his pamphlets. He supported the people through his prose. John Milton wanted the church to be free of a hierarchy and was in favor of removing the king. Through his voice and his political writings, he came to power in the Commonwealth. In 1642, he married Mary Powell. They had three daughters and a son. They were having marriage problems, and she ended up leaving him and staying with her parents. This led Milton to write his divorce tracts. Divorce was only legal in the case of adultery, not Milton's reason of her being ungodly. This led to him being nicknamed Milton the Divorcer. Eventually they made up and Milton put his tracks aside. Aeropagitacea, another one of his political writings, was written for the freedom of press. Milton wanted the king to loosen the restraints he had on the press. John Milton's most famous and known pieces of poetry are Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, and Samson Agnostics. With these poems, Milton focused and used the Bible to write them. He wanted the people to have a better picture of how God works and wanted them to be prepared for heaven. Paradise Lost depicts the creation and fall of man from Genesis. Even though John Milton was writing about the Bible, he added in details that were not stated from the Bible. His perception of the creation of man has a more heavenly aspect. Paradise Lost is a mixture of the Bible's account and John's imagination. In Paradise Lost, Milton portrays Satan in a different way by having him be indecisive of following through with his plans to deceive man. It is considered a great epic poem still known today. After the great success of Paradise Lost, Milton wrote Paradise Regained, which depicted the redemption of man. Even though he mentioned the coming of the king in Paradise Lost, John Milton wanted to expand on his return. In Paradise Regain, Milton stayed more biblical and did not use as much imagination as in Paradise Lost. He referenced more than half the books of the Bible and stayed consistent through his poem. He wanted to show the people how the king will return and how heaven will be without using his own thoughts. The Samson Agnostics was published in the same book as Paradise Regain. It tells of the story of Samson from the Bible. Milton can parallel himself to Samson since their lives were similar. Just like Samson, John Milton was blind at this time. Milton must have been looking at all the mistakes he made in his life. Just like Samson, Milton feels betrayed by his religion and his people. Milton feels betrayed since the church has been under the power of the king and not the people. He only wanted someone to rule over them if he was appointed by God. In the end, like the Bible, Samson killed himself and the Philistines by destroying the theater. Milton used his Protestant views to show the people the straight and narrow path to God. He used his poetry to worship the king and to prepare himself for heaven.